Federal agents last week busted Albuquerque area businesses that were selling the synthetic marijuana called Spice. Well, now, newly unsealed federal documents obtained by News 13 reveal where it was coming from and how the DEA got onto the operation and shut it down. News 13's Alex Goldsmith joins us with that. Alex? Dick, the DEA called it Operation Log Jam. Last week, agents executed 19 search warrants at businesses and homes across the metro area. Investigators followed the suppliers all the way to the Far East. This is big business. It's a legal business, and it's a dangerous, dangerous drug. Last Wednesday, DEA agents raided smoke shops across the city on the hunt for that dangerous drug, Spice. According to newly unsealed federal documents, the investigation started in February when undercover agents bought several products from M&M's smoke shop off Central, later identified by lab tests as Spice. Some of those products were labeled as super pure stain removers. Investigators also discovered that the owner of that store was smuggling in the key ingredient used to make spice from China. A search warrant states that federal agents tracked packages from the Far East all the way to the front door of one of the suspects, Albuquerque Home. The chemicals are being brought in from outside the United States. People wanting to make money are making it. Meanwhile, DEA agents tapped the cell phone of this man, Raid Rahani, owner of several Ray's smoke shops across Albuquerque. Investigators say Rehani was living large by selling spice and illegal bath salts in his stores, claiming to an associate that he was able to bring in $200,000 a month from just one product. So much money, in fact, that he had to buy property just to get rid of it. DEA agents tracked Rehani for months before bringing the whole house of cards down last week. The DEA says spice, bath salts, and anything like them may try and look legitimate but are definitely not. It's not healthy, it's not cool, it's not acceptable. It's illegal and you could be punished for it. More importantly, it's dangerous and you could die from it. Rahani and three others are facing federal conspiracy charges. We asked the U.S. attorney if they could face additional charges, but that call was not returned. Back to you, Dick. All right, Alex, now the local crackdown was part of a nationwide operation. The DEA says it took more than five million packages of spice and bath salts across the streets, off the streets rather, across the country, and arrested more than 90 people.